Hi everyone, uh, so I'm doing the vinyl tag. Uh, it's my first video. I was wondering when I will start to do a first video about vinyl because I, am, I got hooked uh, two years ago. So yeah, let's start. How many records do I own? Um, I didn't really count them, but if I count like uh, through each boxes and I have some uh, singles upstairs, should be like uh, 600 uh, albums plus uh, probably 150 singles. What kind of record player do I have? Um, I got a Rega RP1, uh, which uh, I don't use anymore for now. Um, my main table is a Musical 7.1. Really like it. And I also have a Torrance TD166 uh, vintage that I refurbished and stuff and I really like it as well. It's upstairs. Play some the, I play the, the singles there. How old was I when I started collecting records? Uh, well, uh, to collect really, um, I started only two years ago. Uh, I got my first Mayrega RP1 uh, turntable for my birthday. And then I got some records from my, uh, from my parents and I started to record. So only two years ago, so I was 40, exactly 40. What is the oldest record you own? So I looked up uh, what I had. I think I had in my hands uh, Louis Armstrong from 56, 1956, but uh, I can't find it. Uh, so this is the second one oldest I have. Uh, Elvis GI Blues. It's not in perfect shape, of course, but it's from 1960. Yeah, so that's this one. Uh, what is the first record you ever got? So we're not gonna speak about uh, only two years ago, but when I was uh, 13 or 14, I got my first uh, Walkman and uh, a cassette that went with it. And I was going every, almost every night to sleep with this uh, cassette. So of course I bought the vinyl from it. It's actually a French electronic artist, uh, Jean-Michel Jarre. So some people would say he is not very uh, good musician and stuff. Uh, what he does is pretty, um, um, I would say simple. Uh, it's not technically uh, advanced, but it's very floaty and yeah, that was. So this one, this one is the Essentials. So it's a compilation and this was the, the tape I had when I was 13, 14 and I was crazy about it. Jean-Michel Jarre. Da -da 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 -da. What is the first record you got with your own money? Whew, uh, difficult question. Um, what is the first one I bought? I actually think that the first record I bought is... Um, let me have a look, should be there. It's White Lion. Yeah, yeah, it's this one. It's White Lions, Pride. Uh, why I bought this one is because my cousins, uh, the sons, both sons of my uh, godmother, were crazy about this band. And me, I was not really into uh, rock at this time. And this was the first rock I got. I think it's from 87, yeah, 87. White Lion and my favorite song on this is All You Need Is Rock and Roll and the ballad song When The Children Cry. Sorry for my accent. I'm French, by the way. <laughs> um, what is your favorite colored vinyl? I recently bought uh, quite a lot of those guys. It's um, their name. The name of the band is Horizon Space Collective. Horizon Space Collective. And uh, they are doing a uh, jam, like uh, improvised uh, rock, uh, stone rock, I would say. And this one comes, 
I think it's a limited edition. This one comes into a nice greenish yellow. And yeah, very easy to listen to Stone Rock. Yeah. Horizon Space Collective and they have a lot of uh, albums out so I bought quite a lot of them <coughs> what is a discount album you own a discount album I own I think da -da -da. discount album I don't really know uh, I don't really have a discount album uh, I will say my discount album is the same than my uh, most expensive album I will say okay so let's see this one so this one will answer both questions the rarest and the discount so I got this uh, I went once uh, actually I went to buy uh, and the turntable the Torrance TD 166 and they also was they were selling as well uh, some vinyls some records sorry and um, they had this one and I didn't know what it was I, I I think I took this day 30 vinyls from them and got a nice price for both of them so I didn't pay much for that but when I came back home and I checked what was the price of this on Discord I realized that um, this goes for I don't know 300 euros or something but more than that, this one is the promo copy. So it's on a Bacillus record and from 71. And this one is the, the sample not for sale copy. So it's, it's a little bit tiered here, but overall it's quite in decent shape. And it's on this uh, white promo label Bacillus. So this one will be uh, the one I got cheapest for the price it worth and also the most rare record I have so I will not answer anymore to the to the 15th question to be careful here to not make it worse yes yeah. as a color yeah. on Basilis record Then, what is your priced possession? Priced possession, I think I'll go for a French because, um, yeah, I really like Serge Gainsbourg and I'm happy, really happy to have this one. Uh, I also bought from someone, uh, it's not in totally perfect shape, but it's in a good VG Plus and yeah, I'm really happy to have this one. Da -da 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 -da. A record by a fe female artist. I choose Roberta Flack. Uh, yeah, I hesitated actually. I hesitated between uh, Roberta Flack. Uh, both my wife and I really like her, and uh, I have two or three of this one is compilation, I think. Or, but yeah, so she's famous for uh, killing me softly with this song, but. She has also a really nice uh, voice and yeah, we both like her very much. And recently, actually, I rediscovered uh, Nancy Sinatra. I bought this album uh, compilation as well, Greatest Hit compilation recently. And uh, yeah, it has a good mood as well. So yeah, I'll say both of, both of those. Uh, Recall by your favorite band. Favorite band, uh, yeah, I don't have a favorite band, but I really like the Stones, uh, Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd. I would go, hmm, I will go, I don't know actually, I will say. I got, um, I made myself a nice present, I don't know, it was uh, probably two years ago, and I bought uh, this uh, 50s uh, birthday of the band Rolling Stone so it comes uh, five LPs in there so it's um, 
a lot of uh, what they their best so yeah i think recalled by my favorite band i would say this i'm happy to get this as well and also it's mint it's just two years ago i didn't play that much um an impulse buy uh, i do a lot of impulse buy and this one will uh, also answer the feel good album I didn't know what it was uh, when I bought it so I bought this album just because of the cover I was thinking I, I like black music uh, the, the uh, their mood and uh, I don't know it always brings something different for me uh, you know Stevie Wonder and uh, Billie Holiday or whatever like a lot so many uh, I really like the their their attitude and stuff so anyway I bought this one for the cover and uh, it's really a feel-good album, Eight, 80s, uh, uh, you want to dance when you listen to this, so I would say this one was a really impulse buy, I didn't know who he was, and anyway, it's really a bit and uh, feel-good album. A gift, uh, a gift, a gift, a gift, yeah I got many gifts, uh, I recently got um, yeah, I got this one. I got Erika Badu. I got I got it as a gift by my wife. She wrote inside. Uh, yeah, I will say this was a nice gift. But I have a lot of nice gifts, so yeah. But this one, I like it. Uh, most played record. So uh, I already answered it. It was the Jean-Michel Jarre uh, when I was young. So it was, uh, yeah, I show it again, but yeah, it was this one, the essential from Jean-Michel Jarre. A rarity, um, I showed it to you already, the Hazel color, yeah, quite rare. Uh, and this one is the promo, so. Da -da 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 -da, a rainy day record. Um, recently, uh, I think last year, I uh, discovered um, Mark Kozelek. Sorry, um, he played. Uh, what is the the name of the band again? I kind of forgot. Um, Among the sleeves. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the name of the band. But anyway, he's doing as well uh, some solo stuff and totally almost improvised singing. Uh, his voice is not perfect, but it reaches me uh, also for this matter. And he just plays guitar, it's quite simple and it just goes right away. So this one is on a white uh, vinyl. Uh, Marco, Zolet, uh, Marco Zolek, sorry, the finally LP. Marco Zanek, yeah. So this will be my rainy day, but uh, it could be as well uh, Nick Drake or um, Iron. Uh, 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 sorry, what is the name of the other ones? Iron and Wine as well. Could be a rainy day. Uh, the Feel Good album was uh, Stevie Harrington that I just showed, uh, but it could be it could be as well a uh, Thriller from Michael Jackson, for sure. I played it so many times as well and always, always there. A nostalgic record. So this is a nice question because I think nostalgia is a big part of why I started to get back into record into vinyl records and um, of course memories of uh, my parents uh, I mean my mom passed away but my dad is still here but anyway um, so I will say this one Titanic is a 70s uh, Norwegian uh, hard rock uh, band and uh, my dad and I will used to play this one so much uh, the song Sea Wolf, sea Wolf from Titanic and I was playing it uh, when I was a kid, I think I was trying to play it on the drums, 
so I would say this one will, is very nostalgic nostalgic for me uh, reminds me of my dad and uh, yeah this one and for my mom um, I would say maybe this one um, for my mom um, I don't think I have it here it might be just a single it's from Daniel Guichard and it's upstairs and it's called Mon Vieux uh, meaning uh, mm, my dad in a slang way in French uh, and yeah this is like just when you listen to this song sorry I don't have it here it's upstairs I forgot to bring it down but it's Daniel Guichard Mon Vieux yeah it's uh, just to think about it uh, it's very nostalgic <laughs> Uh, a re uh, sorry, a record day. Actually, I never went to a record store day, so I can't uh, show you any purchase I made. Actually, I don't. Um, yeah, I haven't been to a record store day, so uh, something to 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 go for soon. A recent purchase. I recently. Uh, because I'm also watching uh, people's video and uh, checking uh, what they have and stuff and sometimes discovering new bands and I recently discovered this band which I didn't really know the Chocolate Watch Band and I bought uh, this uh, recently repress um, I think it's a, it's a compilation as well of their best hits I uh, really like it as well the chocolate watch band yeah check it out it's quite cool as well well I did uh, I think I did even uh, shorter than most of the videos I've seen only 17 minutes uh, yeah I, I was waiting for a good reason to uh, to start my first video uh, of introduction and I think those 20 questions are perfect to introduce yourself as a vinyl record collector um, yeah yeah okay so have a good day everybody ciao